Hey there, welcome back. This week, we are talking about how we use relationships with our significant other as a way to go deeper within ourselves. Now, I know other and relationships feel like they're outside of us, but what we're going to talk about and what we're going to resolve is that this is not actually happening outside of you. It's not happening to you when your significant other bugs you or something comes up and it's really, really frustrating, you know, maybe from their family of origin, maybe your in-laws, that's not happening to you. It's happening for you. And we are going to dive into and get clarity around how you use that to evolve your own self further. So I'm really excited to share this with you. I've been waiting, really excited, okay? Because I was in Maui and as I was checking into the hotel, it took quite a while. So we were kind of all standing around and I walked up to these trees that were sitting right next to reception and they were huge. And it actually made me think of you. It made me think of relationships. It made me think of how these, I can't even describe these trees to you. They were so beautiful. They were giant, first of all. And the reverence with which, obviously, the community treated them. They built the hotel around the trees. It was very clear. They were ginormous and they grew up. And then they grew apart. The branches grew apart. But then they grew back into one another. And now, first, I want to say, I'm saying branches. But these branches were actually large enough to be tree trunks. At least tree trunks here in Texas, right? And so, they grew into themselves. Now, not in the messy, normal sense. You kind of see sometimes that, that trees can sit side by side and it almost looks like they're growing into themselves. No, these were like 90 degree angles and there were no seams. I couldn't figure out how they had grown together. And that's so much like our relationships, right? With, especially with our significant other. We can grow apart. We can grow back together. And here's the thing is, that's what we're talking about today, is that this all looks like it's happening outside of this tree, right? It looks like the branches are all separate, but yet they were actually one and serving the one, the whole of the tree. And that is the truth about our own relationships. They're not happening to us. When your partner is annoying you, you know, saying annoying things or doing annoying things, or you're in an argument about your in-laws or about money or about kids or, or whatever it is going on in your life. That's not happening to you. It's happening for you. And so it is a signpost for you to follow for your own spiritual evolution. It's like a paradox. If you look always without. That's the problem. I am my partner. They're wrong. You know, they're messed up or whatever. Then it's stagnant. We do not grow. And yet when we use that, oh, I'm getting so annoyed. What's going on here? Let me look inside of myself. Let me go within. When I look within, when you look within, when we all look within, that is how we grow and that shifts our environment. It shifts our relationships. It shifts our relationship with our significant other. So how do you do this? How do you do this paradox? Like shift what's going on outside of you by looking within. Number one, you create a personal internal commitment to shift this, to start looking within. It's very simple, create a commitment. Number two, you have a very simple plan. It could be a one, two, three, here's what I'm gonna do. Number three, you have a goal, a measurable goal that could be like, you know, at the end of the year, I will have resolved feeling frustrated with my in-laws or with my partner and our conversations about the in-laws or whatever it is. It's how you will change, how this will evolve you spiritually. I'm going to be peaceful every time we talk about money or whatever else is going on that's bothering you right now about your significant other, right? Number four, it's really commit to going deeper. And I want to share with you what that means. Going deeper is about looking for the gold. It's about mining for the gold. And 
I'll share with you, I was talking with someone recently who we were talking about relationships and he was sort of sharing that he was feeling selfish in the relationship and, you know, really looking at this kind of level one and level two, which is not wrong, by the way. And, and we're all selfish to some extent at what at one point or another. But this was really a signpost to go deeper. If he was getting messages that he's selfish, it was an opportunity, a signpost. Go deep, look within. And unfortunately, he was not able to do that until the ending of the relationship. That, that suffering that was created by the end of the relationship caused him to look deeper within and see that the problem was actually something underneath that was transformational. And that's why any part of your relationships, whether with a significant other or not, any part, beginning, middle, ending, is a signpost. If we can just make that commitment to look deeper. So that's what I'm challenging you with this week is make a commitment create a simple plan. And that could look like something as simple as every time my significant other annoys me, I'm going to write it down. And you keep a little piece of paper or maybe for some a journal. And then at some point this week, sit down and reflect on how these things that have annoyed you are a signpost for something deeper within you. And here's the thing. Here's what you're going to get out of this. Just like those trees on Maui, it is an opportunity to grow to grow separately, interdependently, and then come back together potentially within yourself and within your relationships to create that seamless, beautiful, majestic, reverent connection. And that's what I want for you. And I'm really looking forward to hearing how it goes. I know you're going to see some powerful things shifting for you. Have an amazing week. I'm looking forward to hearing, seeing you back here next week. And... Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Take care. Bye.